I have to, what is the term? I'm fangirling. <laughs> because I still get an opportunity and it's one of my guilty pleasures. So I go to a, a, a private bookstore, small bookstore, Ivy Bookstore in Baltimore, and I peruse and it's just wonderful. And I saw this title, Palaces for the People, How Social Infrastructure Can Help Fight Inequality, Polarization, and the Decline of Civic Life. And I do what I usually do with books that have these types of titles. I'll say, I go in the back, and I look in the end, I wonder if they mention libraries. <laughs> and I'm usually disappointed. Yeah. And I leave the books right there. Right. This time I opened it and I was so excited in yeah. the bookstore and I added it to the pile <laughs> and I went home and I read it and I went to work the next day and I had, well you can see tab things. I had all of this stuff. It was just wonderful. I'm, I'm so so how did it happen that you included libraries in this? First of all, it's so exciting to know that you went to the bookstore too. You must get more free books than anyone on earth. <laughs> At a time when we are searching everywhere for community, for connection, for a sense of belonging, for the engines of democracy that will revitalize our civic life because Everyone in this room knows that we need that more than ever. We are searching everywhere and too few people stop to realize that they walk by that place every day. We have already around us this extraordinary institution, the most amazing social infrastructure that designers could ever build, and it's called the library. And, and, and so everyone here, yeah. We need places that are radically inclusive uh, and that are accessible to everyone, regardless of how much money they have in their pocket, even when they don't want to spend anything. Um, and I can't think of another institution that is so committed to that project of inclusiveness as the library. And obviously, a great reason for that is the fact that libraries are programmed and run by librarians. Yeah, right? This is a story about librarians as much as it is about the library, and I think that needs to be emphasized. I feel a t-shirt coming on. Radical <laughs> inclusiveness we were at your library. I like it. But I want us to have good policy that's based on real numbers, but that also a um, has, a, has a message and a story. And I think it's important for all of us, when we leave this room, let's make this promise, that you know, for the next year, we're not just going to complain about the bad treatment that the library gets you know, in our local government. We're also going to work really hard to put together a story that's based on good evidence for why our libraries deserve better and why if we, if we got better, we could do more and how once we start to get this, we're going to turn things around and revitalize this democratic experiment that really still has a chance to do more great things. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. We couldn't have a better advocate. I'm going to call you an advocate.